And the purpose of the Born Alive Act is to ensure that when a child is born under difficult circumstances, oftentimes when they're born as a result of a botched abortion, that medical care professionals in Virginia understand that we still expect them to do everything reasonable within their power in order to save that child's life. Now, I understand that it is embarrassing for the abortion industry to admit that there is such a thing as abortion survivors. I've actually heard members of the abortion industry suggest that they don't exist. And I can understand why they would want to pretend like they don't exist, but when you've actually heard the stories of people like Gianna Jessen or Melissa Oden or friends of mine like Susie from my district who have gone through the incredible both emotional and physical pain of having been the result of a botched abortion, you recognize that as embarrassing as it might be for the abortion industry, their embarrassment does not negate their existence. And there's some people, to include colleagues of mine on the Democrat side, that say we don't need a Born Alive Act because this is dressed as a fantaside, and a fantaside is already illegal in Virginia. Well, that may be true. But what I find interesting is that we had expert testimony actually describing the process whereby this bill is absolutely necessary in Virginia. And if you want to know who that expert testimony was, it went something like this. The infant will be delivered. The infant would be kept comfortable. The infant would be resuscitated if that was the mother and the family's desired, and then a discussion would ensue between the, the physicians and the mother. That came from no less an expert than Governor Ralph Northam, who also happens to be a doctor in pediatrics, describing in very nonchalant terms how this process would happen, where a child would be born as a result of a botched abortion or some other circumstance, and then be left to wither and die while a conversation ensued. Now I understand for some people, as I mentioned this, you may get offended, but my question is, is where is our offense on behalf of the child mentioned in this particular scenario? Do we not have an obligation to protect innocent human life? We would argue inside the womb, but can't we all at least agree that we have an obligation to protect it outside the womb? And clearly these scenarios happen. So what exactly is wrong with telling our medical professionals that should a child be born under these circumstances, the only conversation we want to ensue is how are you going to save that child's life? I think that is a fairly reasonable expectation on our behalf. And so, Madam Speaker, I would ask as we go forward, because I guarantee you this bill will continue to come back until we recognize that every child has a right to medical care, even if it's the result of a botched abortion, no matter how much it embarrasses the abortion industry. And I think it's time for all of us to demonstrate more compassion and certainly some offense on behalf of the child that has to go through these circumstances. Thank you, Madam Speaker.